Yep, you guessed it, it's me, the ginger man, and I am back out on my travels. We are now in the year 2021, the future is here. And today I decided I was going to check out somewhere that I'd come close to visiting. Um, I went into the woodland of this area, but didn't quite get into the town. Um, if you've watched previous episodes, you can probably guess where I am. Of course, it is the beautiful High Valley Field. Yeah, the sun is shining. There's a white winter crisp in the air. So, uh, High Valley Field, show me what you got. Peace. It's a beautiful morning in High Valley Field. Now, I do know that Valley Field looks over Kuris, which is a place that the ginger man has visited many times. I believe this stairwell, staircase, possibly leads us down to Kuris. It's the path to Kuris. You can just kind of see the, the fourth there, just in the background behind the tree line, but we're not here for Kuris, we're here for Valleyfield. Oh look, look who's 50 today. 50, look who's 50 today, this lady. She's 50. That's the Valleyfield Christmas tree. It's pretty nice. I feel like there's going to be lots of interesting things to see about Valleyfield. I have walked through Valleyfield before, but I've not walked walked through Valley Field before. <clears throat> Got the Valley Bar. Pint out here would be lovely on a day like this. And when you're finished at the Valley Bar, you stumble next door. You got the Valley Field Post Office. I love the old school sign. Vintage. Look who's 50 today. Yep, it's only Heather. So over here you've got Tasty Bite. It's all in the name, it's a Tasty Bite. This is no shite, it's a Tasty Bite. It's open, but I'm not hungry. I had a bacon roll this morning. I've got a co-op, a cooperative. Tell you something about this place. Oh wait, wait, we've got bored. Uh, one thing I'm noticing about Valleyfield so far is the views to the Oko Hills are brilliant, and they're snow covered right now as well, which is even better. Hey, uh, what have we got here? Oh, look who's fifty! <laughs> oh, nice. Look at this. Got some cool. We've got some cool graffiti, let's go check it out. I feel like so far already I've learned that there's so much character in Valleyfield. Loads of character. It's simply oozing. And I've just walked into the place. Ah, it's a sweet shop called Mac Candy. Look at this. That'll get me wanting to buy sweeties. Oh aye. Avoid the slushies, but I'd go a milkshake right now. This is shut. Good building. And we've got some traditional graffiti on this one. I think it just says posty. Yeah, a little bit of classic graffiti. There we go, got some YVB graffiti there. As I already guessed, that's the Young Valley Boys. Not to be confused with the Young Valley Boys, which is something completely different. 
Tell you what, man, this is a lovely place to stay. Look at the views you've got. It's literally surrounded by nature. You've got your nice little village, community, village area. And then boom, nature. Boom, forth. Boom, there's Kouras on top of you. On the bottom of you. This is a not bad location to be. And I'm going to be hazard a guess again, just like a lot of the places in Fife. This is an old mining town. With all that mining heritage. Let's see if we can find some. I'm just wandering streets here. I'll go this way. Now, there is a game of football happening today in Glasgow. So, I think everyone's inside. Just give me an up. Ample opportunity to film in silence and peace. So everyone's watching some football game that's on or something. I don't know. Oh. Okay, like that's the woodland walk I was on before. So we'll just just cut along here, see what we can see. Dog barking. Look at that street just heading down towards the woods, and then in your back garden, you've just got the woodland walk, the Valleyfield Woods, which, as I say, we checked out in the New Mills episode, which kind of, I guess, this is a continuation of that episode. So, you know, if you're mid-watching this and you're thinking, I want to see the woods, go back and watch the New Mills episode, then come and watch this one. And I feel like we'll, we'll discover some part of the woods as well, in search of a tree swing. Hey, what have we got here? So we've got more valley field that way. And we see trees on the main road here, so let's just see what this takes us out to. Day. It truly is a beautiful day. The streets are dead. It's like a zombie apocalypse when the old firm's on. Now. This here is the bridge that we walked under in the New Mills episode. So here's the sort of the path linking up. We're on top of the, or we've just come from the bridge that you see as I walked under from that path there. Walked around there. The valley feet. Hey, this is pretty cool here. <laughs> slidy today. It's extra slidy. It's ice on top of ice, which creates a double layer of ice. Anyway, we're still traipsing through the streets of High Valley Field. See what we can see. We're looking for any indications of the history, the community, anything that sets this place apart. But already, I'm seeing lots of characters as I first walked in the place. Just a sort of dumping zone up a few. A lot of dumping here. I kind of want to get into the good ones. Oh, there's a brown bin. Have you lost a brown bin in High Valley Field? Because there's a brown bin here. I've got a hole. It's quite a big hole. It's the Valley Field hole. <sighs> yeah, I want to get back into Valley Field because every time my car comes flying past the back of me, I'm like, oh! We're at the Valleyfield Recreation Club. That's where we're at. Oh, is this is a bowling club? There we are. What a day. Well, it's a 
more like a curling club today, but this is the bowling club. As we know again, and I keep saying, every village in Fife, every town seems to have a bowling team. The bulls, or bulls daft around here. across a woodland passage here. Oh yes we have. There's a bridge under the road. There we go. There's always something, you just gotta keep looking. There's always something. <clears throat> I knew I'd find a way into the woods. Right, let's see the time before we go. It's only 20 past one. Loads of time. Loads of time. So again, I'm not aware of these some of these passages and ways I'm going or you know, I just make it up as I go along. Yeah, there's a term called winging it, and that's what I'm doing right now. Proper winging it. Now, quite excited because it looks like we've found some awesome graffiti work or murials. This looks more than graffiti, this looks real. Oh here we go. People's Health Trust. Valleyfield Heritage Project Committee. Staff of Valleyfield Centre Youth Groups, Lunch Club Support Group, St. Serves, Toryburn and Curis Primaries. And look at this, save our pits. My pits are fine. Coal, not dole. Look at this, this is awesome. It looks like he's fighting a ghost. Because <laughs> the paint's come away. The ghost's got a helmet, which is a shield. <laughs> That's still really cool. Still really cool. Usually you come under a bridge underpass, you know, like that. Oh, I'm going to get mugged under here. Not under here. You're going to be dazzled. You're going to be absolutely dazzled. Good work, Valleyfield. Good work. So, I feel like I've come to the end of the Valleyfield Woodland Walk. It would appear, or section of it. Uh, so I'm just going to walk back along because, you know, it looks different with all the, the ice. All I need is some deer to appear. Some deer to appear. Look how visually stunning everything is today. That's the thing with the winter when you're out walking, everything's got that crispness. So, we've got a sign. Tells us where we can go. We can go this way to Blair Hall. So, Blair Hall, that's another episode. New Mills. We've done that episode, but we know the New Mills path takes us right back to Valleyfield, which is we are we are heading look how it just goes from normal woodland to then winter wonderland woodland A little bit busier now, there's quite a few people kicking about.
Look at this. Yeah, I was here a couple of months ago, but it looks different in the in the winter like this with the snow. It looks even more magical. I'm not going to lie, but out of all the woodland walks I've been on, the Valleyfield woodland walk has a very special feel to it. Um, yeah, it's, it's an absolute dazzler, like. It's an absolute dazzler. Now, right, look where we are. We're back here. We've done a full circle. What now? Alright. Do we attempt those stairs? Oh man, it's a lot of stairs, a lot of ice. I'm gonna click myself to the top. <sighs> there we go. Right, so I've been here already about an hour and a half ago. At least I know where I'm going now. Oh. I'm gonna let him burst after the steps. It looks like I clicked and got there, but actually, without the editing, I actually had to walk up the steps. We're on Hamilton Terrace. We're back in the streets of Valleyfield. See what's going down. I think the football is still being played. And I don't know the score. Uncle View Drive. I'm playing a bit of uh, Valleyfield Street Roulette. I'm just chucking myself down any street and seeing where I end up. There should be a tree swing over there on that tree, but there ain't no tree swing yet. I feel like people of Valleyfield would be almost tree swing masters. I don't know what gave me that impression, but I imagine when I came here, the place to have a tree swing in every street corner. A man can dream, can't he? There's a U save. So you got a U save store, plenty of shops in Valleyfield. If you got a thirst on, if you want to come here, stop off in the shop, get yourself a picnic and go for a wee wander down the, the Valleyfield Woods, see what you can see. Is it? It's beautiful. Now, I was just sitting there thinking, I wonder if Valleyfield's got a park. I don't think no more, Ginger Man. Here it is. Yeah, I've got a skate park too. Lovely. And some football goals with a a tired looking net. What have we got here? This looks nice. Oh well, wow. our beacons and markers celebrate the culture, history and wildlife of this unique landscape at the heart of Scotland. Each one has its own fascinating chapter to tell, but visit them all and you will begin to discover the full story of the Inner Forth. So I think there's an Inner Forth landscape thing. I think we've just found one here, they all are. So, nice. The markers, Charleston Harbour, Tory Bay, Oh. So Valleyfield Woodlands, just north of here, are now open for all, but 200 years ago they were gardens for the pleasure of one cool rich family. The Prestons. Who gunge the Prestons. Designed by landscape architect Humphrey Repton, they included walled gardens, pineapple pits and rustic bridges. Most are now ruins, but a new community, Orchard, has been recreated on the site of the old kitchen garden by Westwife Woodlands. With help from local schools for everyone to enjoy, new orchards have been planted at other historic estates around the Forth too, 
at Canal and Falkirk and Cambus Kenneth in Stirling. Well, there did you go. Look at this. A little touch of class. There's a little touch of class. And there we go. I've just found out information about the woodland that I've been walking through twice. It was once some 200 years ago by a family called the Prestons who kept it all for themselves because they made loads of money from coal. There you go. We must always applaud the efforts and hard work of those who have gained wealth and capital. But, but, this planet is for everyone and not just for those who have accumulated wealth and capital. It's a, a very important point to remember. Anyway, philosophies aside of life, let's get back to Valley Field, which has now got a park and a skate park. Lovely stuff for the wains of Valleyfield. We're just talking about the Preston family. We've only gone and named a crescent after them. Preston Crescent. Controversial, I say. <sighs> what a day. The funny thing is, with the football being on, every time I go past someone's house, I can hear like shouting and swearing at the telly. It's quite amusing. I think someone's just scored because I can hear celebrations. I can literally hear celebrations. But I don't know who for. And I don't care. The, pl the plot thickens. We've got a Preston Street. So, Preston Crescent, Preston Street. I can smell someone's perfume. So it's lovely. Chanel, number five? Mm, maybe. Right, if you're living in Valleyfield, this is the street to live on. Look at the views. This should be called Happy Street. This looks cool. Look at this. What is this? Does anyone know? Oh my god, look at this. is what you, you're met with as you come into Valleyfield. These two towers with doors on either side. What are they? What are they? Look at this. Wow. So here we go, we have the information board, so we've got the Prestons were an important local family that owned the former Valleyfield house and estate. Subsequent to the death of Sir Robert Preston, the house and the part of the estate were acquired by the East Fife Coal Company. Valleyfield Wood is now owned and managed by Fife Council. Power to the people. Yeah, so look at this, there's a whole bit about uh, floating Bob Sir Robert Preston, if you want to come and read about it, Valleyfield House. Um, upon becoming baronets, Sir Robert promptly set about the development of his new property, for he wanted to leave his mark on the landscape in the form of a great house and estate, along with his industrial developments at Preston Island. He was keen, keen to emulate Sir George Bruce, the builder of Curis pa Palace, 
who had established a coal mine at Moat Pit Island in the early 17th century. Valleyfield House itself was a large mansion built in the classical style and set in extensive grounds. There we go, we've got the whole bit about the, the woodland as well, which we've kind of done a good walk of either side. There it is, but it's definitely worthwhile coming to check it out. And then again, we've got the celebrated people of Valleyfield. One was Humphrey Repton, the acclaimed landscape gardener who improved it, and the other was David Douglas, the outstanding botanist and plant collector who worked there as a gardener. So, lots of landscapey, gardeny stuff going on. And look at this. We produced with the kind permission of Carnegie Library. This looks like one of the gardens. Got a shadow out the way. Who's this? It's this guy, Dave Douglas. The forestry's founding father. So yeah, there's a lot of heritage around this Valleyfield woodland land. It almost seems like a bit of sacred land here. Um, yeah. I mean, look at this, they've taken pride in it as well. They've given the sign a shelter. This is lovely. Lots to learn, lots to read. Valleyfield is, is layered. It's layer upon layer of depth and interest. It's not just what you first think about Valleyfield. There is a lot more going on. A lot beneath the surface. Um, aye. I'm fascinated by the place. And look, you can see Knock Hill on the top there. We've really got a good view of all the other sort of areas around Steel End up there, Salin, Oakley, etc. All kind of darted around here in Fife, this area, the West Fife Woodland area. Oh, someone's lost their good cardigan here. Their good pink cardigan. Look at that Scotland flag. Flying somewhat high. Good view, opening up to the Pentlands over the bridge. These guys in these flats have got some some cracking views over the fourth, over to the Logans. Look at this. This is really, really nice. Erected in memory of all who lost their lives as a result of an ignition of fire damp and coal dust in the diamond section of Valleyfield Pit on October 28th, 1939, at about 4am. Tearfully, they came to Valleyfield Pit Head on that autumn day in painful grief to claim the dead with the dead, with dead, with deep respect, we pray. Well, there you go. It's a really fitting tribute as you drive in as well. It's beautiful. As the sun begins to set on my day and I like to leave Valleyfield and I reflect on what has been not only a beautiful day in terms of the weather but just a really pleasant afternoon walking around Valleyfield uh, uncovering more about this place that I didn't know much about and just there a little bit more depth about the place and how they honour and respect the dead from the pit disaster um, and like many places in Fife they have their own coal mining history um, and their own shared tragedy, shared memories. And not only that, but they have this wonderful woodland walk that has been given back to the people of the area. And when I say the people of the area, I mean the people all over Scotland and it kind of represents really how special this place is for us all and how lucky we are all to have Fife on our doorstep. So yeah. Um, Valleyfield, you have been absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so much. Peace.